lifestyle fashion and beauty blogger thanks for joining me today if this is not your first time welcome back boo so if you decided to join me today make sure you are subscribed and you hit that subscribe button alongside that little bell so you can get notified every time I drop a new video and help me reach my goal of 8,000 subscribers by the end of August which is basically the end of the summer so with that said you already know what the title is we're gonna go through this June beauty basket and these are the only products I'll be using for the whole month of June. The only thing that is not in here is probably um, eyelash adhesive. And I'll just figure that one out. But outside of that, let's get into this bag. I'm not going to do any reviews. I'm just going to show you what I got. And we're just going to keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Because this could be a long video. As you can see, I have this bag filled with products. So we're going to try to go through this as quickly, expeditiously as possible. Let's go. All right, so the first thing up here are eyelashes. Um, these are the Ilure Luxe Silk Marquise lashes. So I'm gonna have four lashes. That's the only thing I'm gonna have four of because for a whole month, I like to rotate through different types of lashes for different types of looks. You know what I'm saying? Also for my lure, I will be having the Baroque lashes. I'll be having the Elf Luxe Lash Kit, winged and bold. And the last set of lashes will be the Sephora Audacious Lashes, which is my number one lashes of all time. You know this if you have been here for a while. All right, uh, let's move on to setting sprays. I'm only going to be using two setting sprays. Um, I have one from Flower Beauty um, Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray Dewy Mist. So this is for when I want to be like, you know, dewy, you know, glowing and all that. And then I have the Urban Decay All Nighter makeup setting spray which is not a newbie to youtube or the beauty community so those are the only two sprays i will be using for foundation i will only be um, rotating through three i will be doing the estee lauder double wear stay in place in the color rich cocoa i'll also be doing the nars sheer glow in the color dark too you know i'm giving my nars bellum or bellum i'm giving that one a break because y'all know i could probably go through that whole bottle and use that only one all month and be good but that ain't what we gonna do we gonna rotate through some of this stuff i've been buying and the last one is the odie but goodie the revline 24 hour color stay and 410 cappuccino okay let's move on to concealer um the first concealer i have is from ulta beauty and it is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer, which is waterproof in the color Warm Deep. It's a little light. It's very light. And this is the Fiona Styles Number 10 Full Cover Perfect Finish Concealer. This is what it looks like. And I'll show you the color. Um, this one I haven't used it much either, as you can see. So yeah, I'm only going to go through two concealers. I'll only be using two um, brow gels. The first one is by Ulta Beauty. It is also on my, um, you know, that list of stuff, um, Project Pan. So as you can see, it's almost there. So I'm going to be using the Ulta Beauty brow gel as well as the Busy Gal Brows by Tarte. And this is not in my color. I just use this one because it's lighter. Like when I'm doing the inner area and I want it to be lighter and then my brows get darker as you go further out. So yeah, I'll only be using two brow gels. I will only be using two different um, liquid liners. The first one is Sephora and it's in a color black. And the next one is by LA Colors, and it's a liquid liner, eyeliner in black as well. As far as primers, I'm only going to be using two. I have the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. And the Wet n Wild Face Primer. This one is halfway gone, so it helped me try to use this up over the month. I'm only using two eyebrow products, which is one, the Sephora um, Crayon Retractable Brow Pencil in dark brown. I mean, in dark char soft charcoal. And I'm also using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color chocolate. 
As you can see, this is also part of my project pan, so I'm trying to hurry up and use this up as well. Oh, those are the only two brow products. I have two blush products I'm using. One is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush in Deep Mauve, which is a really, really pretty mauve color on my melanin. <laughs> And then we have the Makeup Revolution blush palette in the color um, Queen. So it has just a whole lot of pinks. I'm using two um, powders. I don't know where the other one went. The first one is going to be the Laura Mercier powder, the translucent one, not the dark brown one. And then I have the e.l.f. High Definition powder. And this is white. It's just a white powder. Um, I'm not going to open it because it's going to make a huge mess. For highlighters, I am going to use the Black Radiance True Complexion and Contour Palette in medium to dark. Because you know this has a um, highlighter in it. So I'm going to use that highlighter. And probably use the um, contour shade as well. I mean it doesn't really, really contour but it's buildable so it's okay. Um, and I'm also going to use the Milani um, Sunlight Highlighter in Spotlight. And then for a semi bronze, like I can build this up with that, um, the um, Black Radiance palette is the Too Faced Soleil Chocolate. As you can see, it's bright. It ain't gonna do no contouring. I mean, no bronzing on me, but we gonna use that too. For eye products, um, the only dark liner I'm going to use is this Fergie Wet n Wild Dark Liner. It's black. That's why I'm just like, ain't nothing to see. And I'm going to be using a green and a blue liner um, for my under eye as well. Both are by Revlon. And this one is in the color Amethyst, the purple one. And the green one is in Jade. And they have a smudger on the end, but I never use the smudger. But these are the only two that I'm going to be using in my waterline. For lip gloss. I have four lip glosses that I'm gonna be um, rotating through as well. Like you gotta have different lip options. It's summertime, June gonna be hot. Marc Jacobs lip gloss and Cha Changes. It's just so cute and iridescent. Then we have the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in Some Girls. This is a corally color, so I'm gonna have fun with this as a topper or by itself. And the next one I have is the Marc Jacobs, um, I think this is Skin Deep, yeah. You gotta have a new lip gloss. Um, hmm, okay. So I'm gonna skip back to eyeshadow primer. Um, the first one is going to be this e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. I'm trying to use this up. Um, there shouldn't be much left in here, and that's just what it looks like. Just regular, nothing special. Then the other eyeshadow primer is gonna be that same primer, the Smashbox put in, I mean Lorac put in everything, the behind the scenes primer. I'm just trying to use that one up too. I've had it for a while. Um, so the only liquid lipstick, which I'm shocked that I picked, was this um, Millbrook by Nika K. It's a matte, it's very pretty. So like when I just wanna have my eyes popping and just something on the lips, this is it. Now for lipstick, I have MAC um, Men Love Mystery. Love this. Love this. It's a pinky, purpley. Well, it's a like blue base purple. Then we have a Black Radiance Perfect Tone lip color in, I don't know, it's just 5123, but it's a purple, I mean, not a purple, a pinky red. Yeah, I'm just going to be out here. Another one of the Black Radiance 5120, a deep purple, because y'all know I love me some purple. And the last one we have is from Milani, and this is Matte Naked. These are some really good matte lipstick colors. It's just a nice nude, another nude lippy. Only mascara I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, which is supposed to be the... Um, dupe for the better than sex by Too Faced and this is what it looks like and I actually like this one better than a Too Faced better than sex mascara just my preference only mascara I'm using bomb
I have three palettes that I'm going to use. Um, I got a throwback for you. And I actually, I should have chose a different brand because I got two of the same brand, but whatever. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. Love this palette to death. One of my favorite of all time palettes. I'm actually wearing this today. If you would like a tutorial, just write it down below. I'll hook y'all up. So yeah, I'm wearing this palette. I'm going to be using this palette as well. Another Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the Subculture palette. The most hated ABH palette of all time. I can't believe I kept the brush in here. Interesting. I will be using this. I just think this would be a nice palette to use during the spring. So, yeah. My last palette is the Violet Voss Pro palette. A very pretty palette that has a lot of different colors different textures so yeah if you at the end of this video you the real MVP thanks for sticking it out with your girl I'm up here trying to fix my hair my dog is sneaking in my room I'm gonna let y'all go because this video was about 13 minutes long and I didn't want it to be that long thank you for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like these types of videos give me a big thumbs up to let me know to keep making them see you guys next time